Hello everybody, Ruben Mar here, bringing you today's Week 6 PPL D2 battle between your Cleveland Bros and the Thunderbolt and Wanderers, coached by Paul Mack. Now, last week, I'm not going to lie, I'm going to tell you, uh, anything from here on out in the season is frosting, because the win over Old Man Tup, Sandstorm Explosion Landorus, Extra Drill Sweep, that was, that was more than anything I'd ever hoped for, better than anything that happened last year, so... A little disclaimer going into this week I didn't uh, I didn't prep insanely hard because I, I didn't feel like I needed to uh, this one was on I, I on the calendar immediately I circled it I wanted to play Polly Mac last week uh, last season he beat me uh, and it wasn't fun I, I did not enjoy losing to Polly Mac last year so this time this time uh, I didn't want to overthink things I wanted to go in with the game plan execute the game plan and win and uh, and from the first team matchup let me tell you I was excited because I was pretty sure the game plan would work so let me tell you what I'm bringing and what this game plan consists of first of all the starter right here stone cold the weavile holding the focus ash sword stance ice go crash beat up ice shard this was my lead if I did not see Don fan this was my lead set up that sword stance kill the rest of his team if he didn't have Don Fan with the sturdy. I, I could sweep his team easy peasy. No problems here. So, Weavile was the lead immediately. And, and you know, we went pink this week. Uh, I kind of like shiny Weavile. Uh, we went shiny for everybody. Because, you know what? Why not? It's fun. It's cool. So, next up is Sleepy Gary. The, the glue of the team. Probably my favorite thing that I've drafted this season. He's just an animal. He's got five kills this season. He's come out to four games, five kills, holding the leftovers with immunity. Can't get poisoned. Why? Because, I mean, Ice Beam from Manaphy, who cares? Fire Blast from a potential Hydreigon, who cares? I wanted to set up, and I wanted to kill. And I thought immunity would, would give me the better choice, especially against Bronzong. Um... I don't have a particularly good matchup against Bronzong, but I, I at least could set up and then, I don't know, go from there. So, Sleepy Gary, with uh, the attack, if I get to plus two, I can kill Pinsir without having to um, really, really rely on that close combat. At plus two, I can also live a close combat. Plus one, I can live close combat, but plus two, I, I, I take it particularly well. So, next up is Bam Bam. Bam Bam was a late addition to the team. Um, I had Florges on here, but then I realized, no, 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 I want to go offensive. I want something that can kill that uh, that Tangrowth, kill that probably heatproof um, Bronzong. And uh, as you can see, I have Flame Charge, Flare Blitz, Wild Charge, Superpower. Flame Charge is early game if I'm in against Tangrowth to, to Flame Charge set up. Um, I know I can't live anything from Pinsir, but it's there. Next up is Shredder, the Exodrill, again, shiny, holding the air balloon, 8 kills this season. Number 2, trying to add on to the kills, I got Sword Dance, Earthquake, Exes, or Rapid Spin. Air balloon, because I'm expecting Tangrowth to have Earthquake. If I can get to plus 2, and he's not super duper freaking defensive, Exes can kill. Moldbreaker. For the Bronzong, I didn't want to bring Excadrill, but I, I can't really go weak without having hazard removal. So Excadrill was the choice. Next up is Goldberg the Landorus holding the Rocky Helmet. I was torn. Do I want to go with a offensive Landorus? Do I want to go with a defensive Landorus? And without bringing Mega Slowbro, who from day one I knew Mega Slowbro was a fantastic Mega Pincer stopper. Mega Slowbro didn't really have the matchup, so I didn't bring it. Instead, I brought Defensive Goldberg with Stealth Rex. Finally, the only thing that has come to every one of my matches is my Thunder Therian. Styles holding the Yachi Berry. One kill this season, not great. Four deaths, even worse. Nasty Plot, Thunderbolt, Sludge Wave, Focus Blast. Four Moveset Syndrome. I didn't know what coverage I wanted to bring. Um, Sludge Wave was a must for the Tangrowth. Thunderbolt was a must for Manaphy. 
timid nature, outspeeding Manaphy all day, every day. I went with Focus Blast because it hit the Hydreigon, it to hit killed the Don Fan. It was had enough coverage where it was needed. So back to the team matchup. I didn't see Don Fan, so when we get started, I lead with Weavile. Weavile was my lead. Like I said, no Don Fan. Shiny Weavile is the lead. He leads with the Skun Tank. And I'll tell you what, I didn't really plan for for Skun Tank because. I don't really like Skun Tank. I don't think it's that great. Turn one, set up that Sword Sands. I know I'm the guy, oh, he sets up with everything. You know what? Sometimes it works. He goes for Flamethrower. I don't get burnt. That did over 50%. That tell me that's a pretty offensive Skun Tank. Ice Cold Crash, didn't even calc it. I knew it would kill. I just needed to make sure that it didn't miss. It didn't miss. Already, turn one, Weavile gets a kill. Weavile has only one kill going into this match. He brings in his freaking Bronzong. Why? He's got a Culberry, beat up, Dunzo Funzo. I brought beat up pretty much every week on my Weavile, specifically for these things that have the, the freaking berry. So turn three, already two things are down, and I think I'm going to sweep. I think this one's over. He brings in Manaphy. I go for beat up. This thing's defensive. Okay, it's defensive. Which means I can live a scald. I have I put my extra investment into my special defense so I could take a scald from a better. So one beat up does over 50%. He goes for scald. And if this doesn't kill me, hey look, I live. Buck, I get burnt. What do you know? The luck, I have the luck, I get burnt. Manaphy gets to live. If Manaphy did not live, I could almost say this game is over. Weavile would kill Manaphy this turn, or next turn. He brings in whatever he wants, and Weavile can kill. So, I go into my Sleepy Gary because this thing's offensive. What's he gonna do to me? He goes for sub, who cares? I go for curse. Because if he sets up a Tail Glow, sets up a Calm Mind, Sleepy Gary can take the hit, and I can break the sub and kill him next turn. So, this next turn, after he gets his leftovers, I'm going to, to break a sub. I'm not going to let him set up. He goes for Scald, so, you know what, hey, as long as I don't get burnt, what do you know? I don't get burnt. I much would have rather had Snorlax get burnt than my goddamn Weavile, because Weavile would have ensured me that I won. So, Double Edge, you know, I'm tired of this, this return nonsense of me not making Snorlax happy, so I went with Double Edge, because I also needed the Double Edge, like I said, for the Pinsir, and, you know, for defensive stupid man if you hear. He goes for Scald. Don't get burnt. Don't get burnt. Hey, I don't get burnt. I go for another curse because I know that the the, the darn uh, pincer is going to try to plus two close combat. And like I said before, I can live a, a neutral close combat with no boosts. So I just needed to, you know, make sure that when he comes in, I, I can live and, and won't be any problems. I also know he's got Golurk and things probably got Dynamic Punch because, you know, fighting on Snorlax and whatever. So I go for Double Edge, break that Manaphy sub. He's trying to, trying to you know, set up his Manaphy, wear down my, my Snorlax, get the burns, you know, what Manaphy does. But you know, Snorlax is here and he's got the leftovers because I brought Shoppleberry how many weeks in a row? And he's got fighting stuff, so I thought that uh, you know leftovers was the better play, especially when I wanted to to set up a lot because without the leftovers, the the scald garbage down goes Manaphy by the way, um, the scald garbage and the the, the the double edge would really take its toll. So right now, Sleepy Gary took down Manaphy. Fantastic. He brings in Golurk, so I'm thinking Dynamic Punch. Yeah, whatever. I'm. I'm going to Toxic this thing. He goes for Earthquake, and that doesn't do jack. That does literally garbage. It's not going to two-hit kill me. I go for Toxic, and this thing also has a Life Orb, so this thing is just going to get worn down. Easily worn down. So, I know I can take another Earthquake. I could probably take two Earthquakes. No big deal. And this thing is just... I, I don't want this thing to, to set up on me. I, what do you know? He sets up on me with speed. 
What does that matter? I'm going to go for rest right here. Because after the 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 Golurk dies, he'll bring a pincer. He'll try to sup, set up on me. And I need Snorlax at good health to, to live. Snorlax right now is really looking like the key player to win me this game. He switched out here because he has to. What else can you do? Into his pincer. This is one turn of uh, sleep gone. Which means he only gets one turn to set up on me. Or he goes two turns to attack. Either way, he can't kill Snorlax. Mega Evolve, the Stevie Y, whatever. This thing is number three in the in the kills. But, yeah, tied with, with uh, Excadrill, but Excadrill's better. Sets up the sub, which is me, which means does he not have close combat? Does he not have Stone Edge? One of my things can, you know, stop this thing. So he goes for Swords Dance, like I expected. I'm at plus two, so basically neutral. Double Edge is not neutral. Double Edge takes out the sub, so now it's not even a roll, whether or not the Double Edge will kill. Because before, it was a roll, but a roll that I could, you know, it, it was worth it to take. So I'm at full health. He's at, whatever, 75. He goes for the turn. Look at this. Re plus two return from a freaking Mega Pincer. Nothing. Double Edge goes off. Dead Pincer. I was told by, you know, the, the experts here that the only way... You know, I, I needed three things to take down Pincer and Manaphy, but I took it down with one thing, with Sleepy Gary. Easy peasy. He goes into his Tangrowth. Guess what? I can live this thing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and rest my health, health off because I don't think he can kill me. But he's got Focus Blast, so I'm like, huh, okay, max damage, 42, whatever. You get it's a goddamn crit. And that crit matters, matters, matters. Because if he didn't get that, I could have rested, get all my health back. Then he would have to continuously hit me with these Focus Blasts. And he's bound to miss one. I toxic that thing, I stall him out. I go into Embor, get that Flare Blitz off. I wanted to go for Flame Charge, but I was afraid of the Earthquake and I, I, whatever. I, I knew this game was over. There goes my, my Life Orb. Um, he goes into Golurk. I don't have max speed because I didn't really plan for, for Golurk because what's Golurk going to do? He goes for Earthquake, and that's a dead Embor. Um, mm, no big deal. Life Orb, Toxic Damage racking up. So, I go into my Landorus because it, this, it's I just gotta stall out the freaking Toxic time. And I know that um, the Intimidate will be good. I also have Rocky Helmet. Had I gone into my Excadrill, but I'll get to that in a minute. So, he goes for the Ice Punch, as I expected. And, uh, uh, damn, I was defensive invested, but that, and he was at freaking minus one, and he, he killed me. Um, but, you know, what are you going to do? It's, it's over. The game was over two turns ago, three turns ago, whatever. I go into my Excadrill, and, uh, I look at the investment that I sent Juan to Jen for me, and I put speed instead of special defense. So... I outspeeded this thing. I had max HP, almost max speed, and I could have killed this a turn ago. But, you know, whatever. A win's a win. Another kill for Excadrill. 2 0 victory in our parts. Polymac, he was at the top somewhere. He was third going into this. He's still third because, uh, eh, I messed up the differential. We could have 6 0'd him had Weevil not gotten burnt. We could have 5 0'd him had. Snorlax not gotten crit. He could have 4-0'd him if I would have gone into my Excadrill. Or had I flame charged with my Embor. And then 3-0 with the Excadrill. But at the end of the day, a 2-0 is a 2-0. A win's a win. Puts us at 4-2. and two. We've already tied the amount of wins we had last season. And we are we are looking good. You know, we had all the doubters, all the people who, who didn't like the squad. Guess what? We are in contention. We are up there. We could be undefeated. We're not. Not gonna bitch about it, but we are we are moving forward to the top. Next week we play Monotui, and you know Mono's got that Megalopony, which is just insane. But you know, you know, we're, we're gonna we're gonna try, and uh, I'm I'm pretty confident with next week too. So two big wins, three big wins, whatever. No, two big wins, two big wins in a row. Let's make it a third. Mono, we're coming for you. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more PPL action.